What's up, guys? Your man MAS here. We got flash feuds coming up this weekend. So since they've put up the first set of feuds, I'm going to go ahead and do a preview like I normally do. Uh, let's go ahead and let's check it out and see what we got going on here. And let's see what we can do. If we can do anything at all. Who knows? Okay. Top row bonus, of course, as usual. It's going to be a, a, a new character, so we don't know who that's going to be just yet. Um, and then there's going to be an open slot, so you put whoever you want in there, which is always good. Um, fill bonus, plus two move charge, plus 100% all gem damage. That's huge. And 50% war score. So if you're lucky enough to get whoever that is, that's going to be that's going to be pretty dope right there. And you can do some big things right there, score-wise. Um... So let's go to the middle row here and let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we can do here. Fill bonus is plus 100% blast gem damage, plus 200% bleed gem, bleed gem, 200% <laughs> bleed damage, plus 30% war score. Pretty par for the course lately with Scopely. Um, so just looking at this already, I, I've already got two two people jumping right off the page at me here. So you need a powerhouse zombie right here. This is a male feud. So obviously we got to go with zombie Daniel Bryan. He does use uh, blast gems. I use them with, uh, I mean, he has them in his sub. I usually run them with his sub. I usually like that move set better, the double green in the, in the finisher. Uh, so that could still work with the blast gems. Uh, 200% bleed damage. <laughs> we already know who that's going to be. Hello, Sako. And now with Sako, I've got Kyrie Sane. I mean, my trainers are not at the optimal levels yet. I think Seth can go up to like 15K, but I doubt I'm, I doubt I'm ever going to take him there. <clears throat> I don't really use Sako too much anymore. Unless I... Uh, unless it's for a feud and there's a, there's a good line of bonus for him like this. 1300 is actually the, the 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 amount there to get him the 66%. I'm at the 58% right now, so that's fine. And like I said, we've got Kyrie Sane now, and I've only got her at 5k. She can go up to 9k, which I believe is a 25% bleed bonus. Yep. Um but that's probably not gonna happen for a while. So uh, we've got her at 5k, 15% bleed damage, plus the 200 percent for the line bonus. We'll be able to do some some big things with, with Sako there. And then, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me. And then I'm thinking about, since you need a striker here, kind of trying to keep the, the overall talent down a little bit. Maybe try out Macho King at four star gold. Throw him in there J just, just to kind of fuck with people a little bit, you know? Uh, so I'm thinking that would be good for the middle row, the middle line. Let's go take ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, bottom line here. Uh, fill bonus plus 25% multiplied gem damage, plus 25% strength of power gems. Wow, no war score bonus there. That's interesting. I wonder if they're gonna change that, uh, or if that's by design. I wonder if that's some kind of an error or something. Anyhow, uh, you need two zombies. There's an open slot, and you need a Drew McIntyre. So couple of different ways that you could approach this depending on your roster the what i plan on doing is you could uh could put zombie drew here because he would benefit from the power gems i could put my tech drew here but he's not really uh he's definitely not at an optimal level at all he needs a lot of work well not a lot of work but you know he needs work. Could put him there. You need a zombie here. Could put anybody. Could put somebody not necessarily that strong. But that's halfway decent. Like uh, my zombie Roman's not leveled up. My Lashley is not ready for prime time yet. I'm thinking maybe like zombie Seth or something like that. Or maybe even maybe even zombie Jeff. He's a little bit lower. But I think he's a little bit more reliable. I think Zombie Finn's a little bit too high. And then you've got an open slot here. So multiply gems. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking drip drip. So maybe for the bottom row, I would do something like this. 
obviously i wouldn't run both of these but that's just not my style i don't get down like that i'm not one of those heavy hitters like a lot of people you know tend to do so uh but yeah but i'm thinking more than likely i'm gonna go with this middle row i don't know what the minimum is um i'm thinking it's probably gonna be like four so if it is four i would uh i would run these three and then put somebody up here um you know and i don't even know who it would be really but i would probably just throw somebody in there maybe dragon or something like that you know it's an open slot so it could be anybody but you get the idea so yeah i think that's what we're gonna do as far as the uh as far as the the first feud goes i will try i can't guarantee because you know the feuds the flash feuds they come so quickly i don't know if i will i will try to do a preview for all of them i've never done that before but i'm trying to you know get some more youtube content out there for you guys um so we'll see but yeah uh you guys can let me know in the comments uh what you think of my choices here if you have any suggestions also please let me know what you're going to be running and uh we, we, we can discuss it but yeah that's it for me guys hey guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did leave a like and a comment and don't forget to share and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for more content like that and i'll see you in the next video